I'm hoping that, you know, with all the, the, the recent events that happened with the COVID-19 of the coronavirus, it forced, you know, I know here in Georgia, schools to close early, you know, and people working from home. And I know there's a lot of mothers, even at the, the, my secular job where I work, that have been impacted by this, you know, because now their children are at home and they have different routines for making sure their children are being taught and doing all the work and stuff. And, you know, hopefully some minds or attitudes will change that's, you know, in our culture, there seems to be almost a disparaging of mothers who do not go off to some office or to some job somewhere, or some factory, but, but actually stay at home and raise their children and teach their children and do that work. There's a lot of people who still will look down their nose at that and kind of treat that as if it's, oh, so you don't have a job or, you, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, that is a job, that is a full-time job, and it's actually way more important than whatever the other mother is going out and working at, no matter how much money she's getting paid. The job of raising children is one of the most important jobs in the entire world. Amen. I mean, literally, this is, it, it is so extremely important that children are raised properly. What you do when you raise a child is going to guide them and be with your child for the rest of their lives. Individual men and women, the next generations that are coming up are all being taught and trained and they ought to be taught and trained primarily by their parents and primarily by mom. Because the way that God designed things, the way that God made even just male and female, you know what? I didn't have this in my notes, but let's go ahead and turn to Genesis. We're going to turn to Genesis uh, chapter 3. Because it's been a while, I've preached plenty of sermons on this, but it's been a while since I've really hit on it. One of the reasons I think is just because it's so elementary and basic how God made differences between men and women. And God had a different purpose for the man versus for the woman. God had a different job in mind, a different role to play on this earth when he created man versus when he created women. Now, that does not mean that either man or woman is better or more valuable than the other. God views both men and women as extremely valuable. He loves men, he loves women, the difference in the job has nothing to do with the value of the person. Right. It's a wicked, satanic world that wants to tell you that what God has laid out as a role for either a man or a woman is somehow degrading or not worth as much or not as valuable or puts women down or something like that. Okay, that is wicked because God is not putting, you know, there's actually plenty of places where women are exalted in the Bible, where women, you know, how about part of the Ten Commandments, honor thy father and thy mother. It's not just honor thy father, it's honor thy father and thy mother. In Proverbs 1, where we're going to go, you stay in Genesis, J Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8, the Bible reads, my son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. Okay, children are taught, the wisdom is being taught, look, you listen to mom, you listen to dad, you listen to both. Both hold weight, both are important. God values women, he values man, and he decided what it was that, that he wanted them to do. Okay, God has laid out for all of us how he wants us to live our lives. Now you could choose whether you want to follow that or not, and I'll tell you this much, if you choose to follow the path that God has laid out for you, the way that he would want you to live your life, you're going to have a, a life full of joy. You will have a life full of joy. Because you know, you know what it is that brings misery and sorrow and grief? Sin. When you are not living the way that God has designed you to live, when you're not doing the things that God has instructed you to do, when you start doing the things that he said not to do, it brings problems. It brings destruction. It brings misery. 